In this video, I'm going to go through how to make different types of corrections to your payables entries in Microsoft Dynamics Business Central. There's a couple different ways to make corrections and Business Central makes um, some of them a lot easier for you so you don't have to manually enter the original invoice data. So we're going to go through the method of how to correct an invoice, cancel an invoice, create a credit memo, and then manually create a credit memo. In Business Central, if I go over to purchasing, and then I move to the posted purchase invoice list, I'll see that we have several outstanding purchase invoices. We can also see, if I highlight this one as an example, we can see that it is not closed out. So it was an invoice for $100 and it has a remaining amount for $100 as well. If I want to correct this invoice, I can use the correct menu and I have a couple different options. So the first one is to correct it. And this is great if you accidentally entered the invoice with the wrong amount or maybe the wrong date or account number because it'll actually pull up the invoice for you so you can create a new version of that invoice and then it will automatically create a credit memo and reverse out the original one. So if I go to correct and answer yes, I'll see that it pulled up my original invoice for me. So at this point, what I could do is make any adjustments that I need for this new invoice. So if I accidentally put in the wrong dollar amount, I could just change that dollar amount here. And then I can update the invoice number so I don't, uh, so I know that this is a new invoice. So I could put REV for revised. Uh, most likely the setting is also turned on anyway, where it will not allow you to enter a duplicate invoice number. And then I'll just go to posting and post. And now you'll notice that it updated it. So it shows as closed out, there's a zero amount remaining. And it also has uh, a red indicator for yes in the canceled column. So it shows that this invoice was canceled. If I were to look at this vendor and open it up here and then go to the vendor ledger entries, And if I look at that invoice, which was 108212, and go to entry, applied entries, I can see the credit memo that I just created, 109002, is applied to this invoice. And then I can see that the remaining amount is zero for this invoice. And then if I look in my GL register here, and if I go to the general ledger, I can see that my new invoice entry was made. So here's my new invoice for $120, which is 108219. And then if I go to the entry that was posted before that, I can see that this was the credit memo that was automatically created to reverse out the original invoice. So I now have a new outstanding invoice for $120 for that vendor. And I can see that at the top of the list here. So here's my new invoice that was automatically created. So again, just to recap, using correct is helpful if you need to actually create a correcting invoice. Now, if you just need to um, remove, well, I should say credit an invoice, if you accidentally entered one and you don't want it to um, be outstanding and you just want to automatically cancel it, then you can just highlight the invoice and go to correct and use the cancel option. So I'll just answer yes to that. And this is helpful if um, you're okay with the invoice getting canceled or credited on the same day that it was entered. Because when you do this, it's gonna automatically create the credit memo and apply it to that invoice and you won't be able to change the date of the credit memo. So I'll answer yes, and if we look at this credit memo, we can see that it was just automatically created, and it made a note that it uh, was applied automatically to invoice 108211. So now I can see 108211 was canceled, it has a zero dollar remaining amount. 
And then if I go to this vendor, and I look at their ledger entries. If I look at invoice 108211, I can see that it was automatically uh, closed out and I can see the credit memo. If I go to entry, applied entries, I can see credit memo 109003 was applied to it and the date is the same. So the date is 4-6-2020. And that was the same date as the invoice itself. I can also see if I saw this credit memo up here and I wanted to know what invoice it was applied to, I could go to entry, applied entries, and then I would see that it was applied to my invoice 108211. So that's helpful if you want to just automatically create a credit memo and remove an invoice. Um, and then the other option under correct is to just create the corrective credit memo. And when I do that, it gives me a few more options on the dates. And then it also gives me a chance if I did want to change something um, related to this credit memo, I can make changes before I actually post it. So in this case, if I wanted to post the credit memo, on let's say May 1st, I could enter that and you'll notice it updated the document date as well. And then I can also manually put in my credit memo number. So this credit memo will be applied automatically to invoice 108210. And then I just need to go to posting and post that. And now I'll see that 108210 has a zero amount remaining. And this particular invoice, uh, if I look at it through the vendor ledger entries again, I can see that the invoice itself was posted on April 6, but the credit memo that we just posted was posted on May 1st. So that will give you the option to change the date that you apply and post that credit memo and then also the actual credit memo number that you want to use. And then the last uh, method that I'll show you would be if you wanted to manually complete all of those steps. So they give you a nice you know, menu up here where you highlight your invoice and then you can choose the, you know, the three options that we just went through. The other option is if you wanted to manually go through all those steps. So if we wanted to actually create manually create a credit memo and apply it to this invoice 108214, then we would navigate over to our purchasing purchase credit memos option here. And then I would just click new, just as if I was entering an invoice or any other type of transaction. And then I'll use uh, first up consult with you. And again, I can change my dates and everything since I'm manually entering this credit memo. I can put in whatever credit memo number I want. And then what I can do is if I go to process, I could choose which document I want to actually reverse out. So we'll see that there's several uh, Invoice is outstanding for this vendor. I'm going to scroll down to the bottom of this list. And I'm going to choose invoice 108214 and click OK. And notice when I did that, it added the note that this applies to that invoice, um, similar to how it did when we automatically created that correction earlier. And then the last thing I need to do is I need to apply it. So if I go to process, apply entries, I see my invoice down here and then I just need to go to process and then set apply to ID. And now I'll see that this credit memo that I'm creating right now is getting linked to this invoice. So 1006 is now applied to invoice 108214. I click OK, then I have a chance if I didn't want to change any of my dates. So again, maybe I want to um, apply this in May. 
maybe a month late. And I always like to change the posting date because then it automatically updates the document date as well so I can keep those in sync. And now I just need to go to posting and post. So I don't need to open it up, but I will go back to our invoices, posted purchase invoices, so we can take a look at those. And now I can see 108214 is now closed out. And if I wanted to confirm that the application took place, then I can open up that vendor and go back to my vendor or ledger entries. And I can see 108214 is listed here. And if I go to entry, apply to entries, I can verify that my credit memo 1006 was actually applied to that invoice and it was on May 6 that the application took place. So those are the different methods that can be used to enter uh, credits against your invoices. And you will also see them if you go under purchasing and you look at your posted purchase credit memos, we'll be able to see the entries that we just made right now. So here we can see all the different credit memos that we just posted against the different invoices. So to recap, if you go to posted purchase invoices, the easiest way is to use this correct action bar. If you wanna just create a new invoice or you want to cancel one or create a credit memo automatically. And then if you wanted to do it manually, then you could go to purchasing and then purchase credit memos and manually create that credit memo.